Well, I will keep this relatively brief. And as a sign of good fideus, this is not monetized. So it's really one major fact correction, but I think it'll have to be two. So Nora, as usual, doing her hate campaigns and her hate videos, decided to do a long dirge on Mitch Brisker. I looked at a little part of it, but being Nora, I've been through enough of her moronic videos to know it's like it's not going anywhere. But anyway, apparently she made a charge that Mitch, which she admits to, worked at a Scientology nursery. And then she leaped to, due to Spanky Taylor, who did give some pretty disturbing testimony in the Going Clear documentary, which is fatally flawed, as is the book. So I want to warn people, I think Lawrence Wright was sincere, but he made a lot of mistakes in that documentary and book. But we'll put that aside. So Spanky relates the very disturbing things that happened at the nursery. And Nora... Being brilliant, put two and two. Oh, you just admitted to the child abuse, Mitch. Congratulations. But as Mitch explains, yes, he did work at the nursery before that incident. He worked at the nursery. And then years later, years later, what happened with Spanky happened. And Spanky apparently is a friend of Mitch's. So Nora decided apparently not to include that massive time gap and just Magics said that Mitch abused children without any real evidence. Well, that's just Nora being Nora. So there we are. And the comment section went ballistic attacking Mitch. And one of the attacks was truly, truly strange. They were saying, well, Mitch, you got it a little wrong. Uh, uh, it wasn't both of Nora's parents that were Scientology spies. It was only one parent. It was the mama. Yes, you see, Nora's family is a spy family. Her family worked for the Guardian's office, which was the forerunner for OSA, an extremely lethal and deadly and ugly part of Scientology, an organization tasked with destroying people. So anywho, this person is vehemently denying that both of Nora's parents were in the Guardian's office. But no, both her parents were in the Guardian's office. And we know this because somebody working in the Guardian's office attests to this. This is McLaurie, Mike McLaurie, who publicly testified against Scientology in the Lisa McPherson case. So his credibility is strong. He gave everything away about how the spy operations worked, who he worked with, gave names and dates. He did not pull any punches. And his interviews are available. He does a very good blog. And the McLaurys, again, they're not begging, but they do need some financial help. I barely make any money with the YouTube and other places. Again, support the channel if you can through memberships. But again, I'm not making that much money. But if you want to support them, they have a GoFundMe. And they're very good people. Again, I don't agree with them all the time. They do a lot of conspiracy stuff. And I do conspiracy stuff too. But they're much more committed to conspiracy theories. I'm a little bit more skeptical, but we will go into conspiracy theories related to Scientology. So that's them, and they just wanted help from Nora because they believe that Mike Rinder, I think with a lot of credible evidence, was still fair gaming them, and they wanted some help. And Nora being Nora, and to be fair, it was not just her. It was her family insulting them. In fact, in one case, one of Nora's family members insulted Virginia, Mike's wife, cursing at her. But anyway, McLaurie did confirm that, yes, Constantine Sova, that's Nora's real name. That's her birth name. It's not Nora Ames. It's not Nora Crest. She's had a lot of aliases and fake names. Her real name is Nora Sova. Nora Sova. So anyway, Constantine or Con Sova, yes, served in Vietnam. That's been independently verified. And after a few years in Nam, he got out. Hey, would an army guy be an ideal choice for the Guardian's office, a paramilitary spy organization? You betcha. And then he got recruited into the spy office and did God only knows what. So Nora is tied to a spy family. Again, it's YouTube. I have to say this legally. Allegedly, that might be tied to mass murder. I mean, McLaurie did not hold back. They did some awful, incredible things to destroy people, going after people's jobs and sometimes even planning. Yes. Quote, final solutions to some enemies. So it was insane what they were up to. Now, might Nora's family be a part of this? Don't know. She's never really spoken about it. She's magically totally 
forgotten the spy years. So it's amazing how a woman who claims to be super innocent of doing propaganda and hate videos and spy stuff keeps acting like she's doing hate videos and spy stuff. And there you go. But unlike Nora, we should proceed cautiously. Just because she's linked to all these spy conspiracies doesn't mean she's part of OSA, even though she's acting a lot like OSA.